In this video, we will try to learn how to find the demand function of a good. The question is like this. If utility is given as a times uh, x into y whole uh, power 1 by 2, money income is given as 656 per week, price of x is given as 8, calculate demand function for y, that is for good y. The options are given 328 divided by price of y, 160 a divided by price of x 316 divided by price of y or 350 divided by price of x so we will see what is the correct option how do we solve this very question first of all we have to find the utility maximizing condition utility maximizing condition is there so i will write here uh, utility maximizing condition is there our marginal rate of substitution between these two goods x and y should be equal to the ratio of the prices of these two goods okay this is the condition uh, this is the formula which we will use here okay how do we cal calculate marginal rate of substitution between x and y it is simply equal to so i will write here marginal rate of substitution is given by this is equal to marginal utility of good x upon marginal utility of good y okay so this subscript shows the good x and y okay so first what will we do we are given the utility function i will write it again u is equal to a into x times y to the power 1 by 2 marginal utility of good x is given by that is a partial derivative d u divided by d x so partially differentiating this very utility function with respect to x or i can here extend it like this a into x to the power 1 by 2 times y to the power 1 by 2 because 1 by power is to these are uh, two terms okay so if we partially differentiate this very function with respect to x sorry i have written it in small caps i will write it uh, x and y okay so derivative of x here is this one by two becomes coefficient that is one one upon two into a uh, times x this coefficient uh, this power is subtracted by one minus one and we have y to the power 1 by 2 okay this is from the power function rule if we have x to the power n it is derivative would be n x to the power n minus 1 this n becomes coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 same rule i have applied here so when we solve this we have 1 by 2 a x uh, to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 it comes out to be minus 1 by 2 and y to the power 1 by 2 or we can write it like this 1 by 2 a y to the power 1 by 2 divided by what i have written here it is actually x here x and we have a okay so this uh, x to the power minus 1 by 2 can be written as 1 divided by x to the power minus 1 by 2 because if we have x to the power minus n it can be written as 1 divided by x to the power plus n so sign gets changed if we if we reciprocate the number okay so y to the power 1 by 2 divided by x to the power 1 by 2 this is the marginal utility for good x similarly we will find marginal utility for good y that is the partial derivative of utility function with respect to y this time so partially differentiating we are differentiating with respect to y so the power of y will become coefficient so this is 1 by 2 a x 1 by 2 y since we are differentiating with respect to y this will become minus 1 1 by 2 minus 1 which comes out to be 1 divided by 2 a into x to the power 1 by 2 and y to the power minus 1 by 2 or we can write 1 divided by 2 a in place of we so we have x to the power 1 by 2 divided by or i will write here uh, 
वन बाई टू डिवाइड बाई वाई टू द पावर वन बाई टू सेम रूल है अप्लाइज एक्स टू द पावर माइनस एन बिकम्स वन डिवाइड बाई एक्स टू द पावर प्लस एन विच आई हैव यूज इट बिकम्स द पावर गेट्स द साइन गेट्स चेंज ऑफ द एक्सपोनेंट इफ वी रेस्पिरोकेट दैम ओके सो वट इज द कंडीशन आवर आई वज राइट हियर आई यूटिलिटी utility maximization requires that our marginal rate of substitution between two goods x and y should be equal to price of x divided by price of y so marginal rate of technical substitution is equal to i will write marginal utility of x divided by marginal utility of y okay should be equal to price of x divided by price of y what is marginal utility of x this very uh, this very function so i will write here वन डिवाइड बाई टू ए वाई टू द पावर वन बाई टू डिवाइड बाई डिवाइड बाई एक्स टू द पावर एक्स टू द पावर वन बाई टू होल डिवाइड बाई मार्नल यूटिलिटी ऑफ वाई दिस वेरी टर्म दैट इज वन डिवाइड बाई टू ए एक्स टू द पावर वन बाई टू वाई टू द पावर वन बाई टू Here we can see one by two, one by two cancel a and a gets cancelled. It should be equal to price of x divided by price of y. Okay. So let me rub this now. Or we are left here with uh, y to the power one by two divided by x to the power one by two. Uh, when transposing uh, this term on the numerator, it will get reciprocated. That is, we get y to the power one by two divided by x to the power one by two, and it should be equal to price of x divided by price of y. Okay, so a uh, y to the power one by two, one y to the power one by two. Bases are same, powers are uh, added, so we are left with y to the power one by two plus one. One by two. Similarly, we have same basis x to the power one by two. So the exponents get us added. So this should be equal to price of x divided by price of y. So one by two, one by two is equal to one. So this means y upon x should be equal to price of x divided by price of y. Okay. I hope I am making uh, sense, or I can write here y is equal to Price of x divided by price of y. Transposing this will become x. Now what will we do? We will just put this very function or uh, this very relation. Put y is equal to p x divided by p y into x in our budget constraint. Now what is our budget constraint? Budget is simply uh, budget constraint is given by. So I will write here. Budget constraint is. That is price of x, okay? Or I will write x times price of x plus y times price of good y should be equal to our budget. That is m, okay? Now we will put this value y is equal to p x to our p y into x in this very equation, okay? Just inserting the value here. We have x times price of x plus in place of y we have this very thing that is p x divided by p y and we have this uh, p y also p y. Sorry, we have all already another x here in place of y. Okay, times. Price of y, so I will not write this. Gets uh, confused with multiplication sign. I will write price of y should be equal to m. Here we can see this very thing gets cancelled. Okay, we are left with x p x plus x p x should be equal to m. Or since this uh, terms are same, we can add them. This becomes twice x. P x should be equal to m, or x is equal to 
m divided by twice price of x similarly we can find y is equal to m divided by twice price of y this is the demand function for x this is demand function for y okay now what we have to do we have to just insert the values so our y is equal to since we have to do nothing with this x is equal to since we are finding the demand for y so we will stick to this okay y is equal to our m is given as the money income is 656 i will write 656 divided by twice price of y or this is equal to 2 3s are 6 uh, 2 2s are 4 2 8s are 16 so we get y is equal to 328 divided by py this is the demand function for uh, good y okay that means the correct option should be option a i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you